In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign an animation to a humanoid character in Unity. Let's suppose we already have the model. I'm going to use this one, Kira. And as you can see, this model has no animation of its own. If I go to the import settings and I select uh, the animation tab, and I even if I check import animation, it says no animation data available for this model. But because this model is using the humanoid rig, we're able to basically recycle an animation that we have created for another model uh, onto this one. Uh, and I'm going to take the animation from these other files, which are here, which are stock animations that you can find on the asset store. Uh, in this case, for example, I want to use humanoid idle. So this file here, which is also an FBX, contains no real uh, geometry, as you can see. Even if I select this one, it doesn't give me any preview but it contains the animation that I'm after. Uh, and the animations in Unity come like this. They come as an animation clip. In this case, the animation clip is included in the file. So if I expand the file, I see the animation clip. And this is the one I want, Humanoid Idol. If you select it, you can see that Unity previews the animation with the standard humanoid character. And I can actually hit play and check that it loops perfectly and stuff like that. If I wanted to correct this animation, I would have to go here on the file into the animation tab. And now you can see that this file here is showing me the clips. In this case, there's only one. And once I select it, I'm able to change the property of that clip. Now for this one, I don't want to change anything because it's already working fine. But I want to use this clip on the character, on the girl. So to do that, I'm going to go to my uh, prefabs. I have a prefab of the girl already made, so I'm going to drag it into the scene and it's um, set up. But it has no animation yet, so let's add the animation. To add the animation in Unity, we need a few things. We need a component on the character itself, and then we need the state machine. And I'm going to talk about the state machine in a second. So first we want to add the component. We go to add component, we type animator, and we choose this one. As you can see, this is a component that's going to play the animation, but it needs the state machine, the runtime animation controller. Uh, and then it needs an avatar. Now, the avatar is the mapping of the bones to their function. And we already have one because this girl, um, so the model is here. If you select the model, because here in the rig we selected humanoid, Unity generated an avatar, which we can find by expanding the model, we find it here. So back to my game object in the scene. Here I need an avatar and I'm going to drag and drop the avatar that I find under the actual model for the girl. So now she has a definition of the bones. But the animation needs to come from here. So I want to create a new asset now, uh, which has to be, I'm going to create it in, uh, in the Kira folder. It has to be the state machine. So right click, create animator controller. And this is going to be Kira state machine. If I double click on this one, Unity opens a new window, which is called animator, which represents the state machine. It gives me a vision uh, of the state machine. And as you can see, there's a few states. They're not really states. They're like more like an entry point, an exit point. Um, they're, they're already created, but we need one which is going to be the animation itself. To do that, we, can, we could either like right click, create state, or more easily, we can go to the animation clip that we want. So I'm going to go back to my animation files, expand humanoid idle, and then I can select humanoid idle and drag it here into the state machine. And this is going to create a state automatically that I can use now with uh, Kira, with a girl. Um, so I don't need this one anymore. As you can see here, the animation state that I that I obtained is already connected to the clip that I dragged, right? So this is now working. Um, and this is going to be the one that's played because as you can see, the entry point is pointing to it. So as soon as I press play, um, this state machine will start from here, from this animation clip. The last thing that I need to do to connect this thing is select my game object in the scene. And here on the animator controller, I want to connect the state machine. So I will go into this folder 
and drag the state machine to the animation to the animator controller. So what's happening here? Just to recap, um, this is my state machine. Double click. It currently only contains one state, so this is going to be the one that's played. Um, and we are saying to this character, you are animated using this state machine and your bones are coming from this avatar, which again is inside the model of the girl itself. So basically um, Unity is trying to interpret the bones that somebody has put uh, together in the 3D modeling package. Now that we have all these components, I can press play and the girl will play the animation correctly. So she's taking, this model is taking the animation from this other file um, an animation that was created for a different 3D model, but because they're sharing um, the definition of the bones, because this model is using the humanoid rig, then it's able to basically repurpose, to retarget the animation. So that's a very powerful feature that um, Unity has. Uh, if I wanted to assign a work cycle, I could do exactly the same thing. Um, go to my animation files, find the work cycle, which is here, expand the file, I find the animation clip, and if I go back to my animator, to my state machine, I can now drag this one into here, and the new state gets created. But as you can see, because this is not the default one, we need to right-click, set as layer default state, and now this is gonna be played instead. So if I go back to the scene and I press play, she now plays the animation uh, of the work cycle. In this case, uh, it's important to remember that she she's not moving because even if in this animation there's probably some movement, uh, she's not moving because the animator controller, sorry, the animator component on the girl uh, doesn't have apply root motion ticked. If I were to tick this checkbox, she will now move forward because she basically takes not only the animation of the bones, but also the animation of the root. If this is unticked, then she's not gonna move. So she doesn't take that one specific um, motion. But this is important because if you want to, um, if you have an animation that's already pre-made, then you want to apply the root motion. But if you want to drive the movement of the character via script, then you need to have this unchecked so that she stays in place and then some script will drive the movement of the character itself. The last thing to remember is that in the animator state machine, uh, now this is the default state and to play this other state, uh, the only thing you need to remember is that um, you need some scripting. So there's no way currently in Unity to jump from one state to the other without using any kind of scripting. Um, I mean, you could potentially sequence them uh, by clicking, right clicking and selecting make transition and connecting them together. So what this does is that it will play humanoid work once and then it will go into idle. So if I press play, you will see that. So you see that she plays the humanoid um, walk animation once, and then she stops and she uh, and she goes into idle. I could also like disable root motion. That's more clear, maybe. So you can see that she plays the walk and then she goes into idle. If we actually we uh, were to put the animator here on the side, you would see how I press play, and this clip here plays, and then it transitions to this one. So by creating the transition, I have basically sequenced these two animation clip. But again, if you want something interactive where, you know, like I press forward and uh, the girl plays this animation and then when I stop, uh, she plays the idol, then you will need, um, you will need to script the, uh, you will need to create the script and uh, program that. <laughs>